Hello guys, welcome to my channel Artisans Web. So today's topic is how to log query in Laravel. So as usual, this is the blog I have written on this same topic, and you will get the link of this blog in the description below. So we can log query in Laravel by two ways. So this is the first way we can print our last query in Laravel. We have to use DB enable query log and get query log and wrap our query between these two statements so this is the route i am using for testing purpose and this is the query which we are going to print and i just use dd so here uh, i can see my statement so i copy this line and paste it below my query I comment it out next thing I copy this statement so basically you need to wrap your query between these two statement to print query in Laravel now if I refresh the page this is my query select name email from users here my query you can see same thing and binding means uh, if I use where clause and then here you can see like question mark and then uh, in the binding array you will see the parameters for it but it has some drawback let's say I am writing query in create function as well and to print this query I need to repeat these two statements in my create function as well this is not obviously a good idea because we have tons of queries in application and we cannot do this process every time so there is better way to log our queries in Laravel so let's see that this is the way so this piece of code you need to write in app service provider dot php and we start login query automatically in background so let's open that file oh, yeah include these two statements and in the booth method we need to write this code so this is one time process you don't need to repeat it again and again it will automatically start login queries now if I open env file here you can see app debug is true if app debug is true then only our query get logged and our query get log in under storage folder storage logs here our new file get created which one is query.log so this query we will see in query.log file once I refresh my browser yeah my query got executed now let's see here you can see query.log file get created now let's open that file yeah this is the query which got executed now to check for it let's uh, change query I add ID in this select field and refresh it so this query also should get logged yeah correct now you can see my next query get log here so it's all about today's tutorial guys I hope you understand the tutorial if you like the tutorial please subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.